What's up? This is Tony and Jerry. We're from Papa Roach. You're watching Rockin' Life. Fear is, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's an acronym uh, standing for Face Everything and Rise. Uh, and it basically takes a negative thing, turning it into a positive. Um, everybody has fears, and the theme is basically just facing him, facing your fears, and getting, getting over them, getting through them. Um, well, we chose our producers uh, first, uh, and that's where they are. Uh, we would have liked to do uh, the record in our own studio in Sacramento, but they have their setup and their recording, you know, their studios in Vegas. So they said, no, you have to come here. So we went there. We we rented a house and all lived together, and um, yeah, we. We, we didn't go to the strip, <laughs> we just, you know, went house studio, yeah. <laughs> house studio. So, so uh, which one would be your first? Yeah, it was different uh, for us, but I think that, you know, once we got used to how everything worked, we got into a flow. And I went to the strip the first week. You did? Yeah, like three times. It was like shows and stuff, but then, oh. but then it was oh, like, well, yeah, yeah, nothing after that. It was kind of focused. I re we did see a show. Did you go to that one? To Queens of Stone Age? Oh, yeah. Age? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. I was there. <laughs> I was there. Pain is a blessing in disguise. I feel it cutting and it's cutting like a knife. My pain, my pain is a blessing in disguise. time yeah it was our first time working with them um, and we chose them because they have great uh, great tones great sounds um, very direct and uh, you know they've worked with Five Finger Death Punch and um, in this moment they worked with a lot and we like uh, what they did with their sound um, we originally thought about making a heavy record uh, and then, you know, songs, certain songs came to light and, you know, we couldn't refuse those. So we, we ended up making another diverse record, but, um, you know, we basically, we basically chose them for their, their sound and, and, you know, the production, uh, quality. It was different yeah. this time. Uh, we didn't have any material going into the record. Uh, we had to start new. We had I maybe mean, we had little ideas, little musical ideas, but no finished songs yet. Um, and the, the the other way that this was different was we couldn't really jam. We couldn't play together very much. Uh, Tony and Tobin would play a couple of nights um, and they actually got a song out of that but um, other than that we had to do everything either at the house we had a little small little studio set up at the house we stayed uh, we worked on music during the day and then brought it to the actual studio um, and in the evening and played played the music for everybody and um, started recording there. We're, yeah, we, it's not really the single, um, but yeah, Warriors is, 
is uh, the last song on the record. Um, and that, you know, we, we, I talked about, you know, doing, a, you know, an upbeat, like, fast-paced song that kind of sounded like Prodigy. And uh, I recorded, I wrote and recorded a song. And then Tobin went and recorded a different song. And that was Warriors. And, uh, it, you know, in, in the back of my <laughs> head, I was going... <laughs> but it's great, great musical, you know, piece. Whatever. I think that for that one, I think that, you know, because he's gotten a little more um, spiritual lately, I think, you know, that, that song is, has to do more with afterlife and, um, you know, just being there for somebody here and then, you know, if somebody close to you passes away that, you know, you'll be carrying them with you even though they're not around. Physically here. Physically, yeah. yeah. We actually we well, they, we used their guitars, um, but I used mine my, my Schecters on a few uh, um, like the more of the the open like uh, overdub like higher parts. Uh, but we didn't use any amps. We used uh, the it's called the Kemper and it's a it copies amplifiers, but it's just basically a computer and uh, which is interesting because we never used one of those before um, but it, it sounds really good and you can't really tell the difference uh, I really like the guitar they had a studio guitar uh, that you guys used on oh, the skeletons Bob. it's called the uh, Boba Fett after you know Star Wars character. and uh, it was Chris's guitar oh it was Chris's guitar from, uh, in, in this moment. moment that guitar sounded awesome I mean it just it was a super low tuning. Yeah, as soon as you hear it, it's on the track Skeletons, second track. That's that sound. It's seven string, which we don't normally, we don't normally use a seven, seven string, but, but it just called for it. And it sounds just. I, I really want you to get that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, drums, same. Acoustic drum set. You know, it's all live. I mean, thanks for coming to the last show, uh, and we we hope to we hope this is sort of a new beginning for us. I'd like to just keep building and spreading out into more territories in France for sure. That's 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 the big that's the big plan. Not just play Paris, you know. 